sure. And I think the statement has gone out. So we'll just take any questions that you have. Yes, Alvin. So can you just give us the specifics of what you have been told happened uh, in that incident? Yeah, my understanding from uh, Imran's perspective is that he was racially and verbally abused by a certain gentleman throughout the match. Uh, and he asked, he reported to the stadium security who were uh, stationed in front of the change room, of the dressing room. And uh, two gentlemen accompanied, two of the security personnel accompanied him, accompanied him to identify the perpetrator. But obviously when he got up there, uh, there were some hostile verbal exchanges. And to neutralize the situation, they removed him from the scene and brought him back to the change room. Uh, so that is, that's what we've been told. I mean, there was definitely no exchanges uh, and, and no children involved in the incident, as has been reported on, uh, on social media. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. So we just want to get uh, an idea from the stadium security perspective, uh, their input into what happened. Uh, and once we have understanding of that, then we'll be able to have a better idea of things. Is it possible that uh, Imran tried to escape from the country? No, not at all. I mean, from, from his side, he hasn't done anything untoward. He had reported it to the state and security, and he was up there just to identify the, the suspect. Were there media tracks or what happened? Because uh, we saw the media tracks coming uh, from him and somebody else on the video. Yeah, I'm. I'm I, the, the fans that were sitting there, I think there was a, there was a cross between both, but uh, according to what Imran said, it was an Indian fan. Thank you very much. Thanks.